Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I've got this piece here today and I'm going to do a, a bronze patina on it. I'm going to use... <clears throat> I'm going to use the Swelligant this time. I'm going to use the bronze metal coating with the darkening patina. I don't know what's go I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do, experiment. I know it will um I know it will work on it. It will patina it. I'm hoping it will do kind of a blue bloom we're hoping so the first thing i've got to do is to coat the piece with the metal coating and let it dry one of the things i will say is to use a separate brush for your metal coating and your patina you don't want to cross contaminate the bottles all right so this is <laughs> my very nasty swallowgut brush this is the one i always use and then i've got a piece of sea sponge and as you can see it's the one i always use um for the patina i just rinse it out when i'm done i've got a a larger supply but this is the one i always use call me weird Alright, so you want to shake the bottles really well. Right. Now, I usually just paint from the lid, but this, um, this bronze, I didn't get the seal off the top very well so it doesn't really give me much in the cap i'm going to start with the the little dangle first so i'm just going to paint on a layer and then let it all dry Trying really hard not to get it on the stone, on the... Now, the back of this piece is actually um, gold polymer clay. That's why it didn't really match. But now it does. Alright, I'm going to put a layer on the rest of the piece and I'll be back. At this stage, it doesn't really matter if you brush it on, pounce it on, whatever. But the second coat, you'll want to pounce it on to give a little bit more texture for the patina to work with. Alright, so I'm going to finish painting it and I'll be right back. Alright, I realize she doesn't look much different. That's because I had mixed uh, a bronze color clay, some gold, and I mean some copper and some black. Um, so let's get a second coat on. Now, like I said, I'm going to kind of pounce. the second coat on.
again, that's to give the patina a little bit more texture to grab hold of. Didn't leave much room between the face and the beaded hair part, but it'll be all right. All right, I've got that on. Well, I'll do that second piece afterwards. All right, let me just grab a... This is just a measuring cup. All right, like I said, this is the darkening patina. All right, I've got the sponge pretty darn well saturated. Now you don't have to worry about getting it on the face because it doesn't have any of the bronze metal coating on it. So it won't have a reaction. Alright, so we're just going to leave that for a minute and see what happens. Now you can use your heat gun to dry the metal coating. Don't hold it too close because it will bubble if you get the, the heat gun too close. But I wouldn't suggest using it to dry the patina. Um, I'm sure you could, but it doesn't allow it to bloom naturally. Alright, so I'm going to let this keep going and I'll be back to show you. Um, it usually takes... Um, 20 to 30 minutes for the bloom to really develop. Um, you can leave it up to an hour, but at any point that you like the way it looks, just rinse it under underwater and um, it will stop the patina process and halt it right where it is. So you have a little bit of, of leeway there. All right. Okay, because that didn't really give me the effect that I wanted, I'm going to add a little of this um, Sky Sapphire Patina, which is one of the new um, patinas from Christy Friesen. And I'm going to have to add a little bit more of the metal coating first. So I really just want to add it in specific areas. And it is best to always dispense your patina out into um, a separate container. It 
Yeah, this one would probably color the face if I got it on there any. Alright. So let's let that dry and see what we think. Let's let that bloom and see what we think. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, it's been blooming for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to let it keep going. But I've got this um, folk art metallic blue sapphire. And I was going to use my brush, but I changed my mind. I'm going to use my stylus with the really small end. And just dab into the lid. And just give her some little bit of detail on her face. Alright, just to give her a little bit more of an exotic look. Let's see if I can get a little color in her spiral. Now, of course, it would be easier with a paintbrush, but I would have a little bit less control. I may just let that dry and call it good. Now, the swelligant line um, does, does have its own sealer. And I'll wait. You're supposed to wait 72 hours before you put a sealer on it. So, that is what I'm going to do. But, for now, I'm going to call it good. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.